I'm standing on the grounds of Todaiji Temple in Nara, Japan. Nara was the 8th century capital of the nation. Todaiji is one of the oldest and most important uh, Buddhist complexes in Japan. Uh, at, inside of its main hall uh, is the Nara Daibutsu, or the Great Buddha of Nara, a 15 meter tall bronze statue first cast in the mid 8th century. Todaiji also served as the headquarters or the head temple of a nationwide network of state-sponsored temples. Today, Todaiji is a UNESCO-designated World Heritage Site. Like most temples in Japan, Todaiji has suffered from calamities over the centuries. It was reduced largely to ashes during the civil conflicts of the late 12th century. But because of its importance, it was soon rebuilt, but this time, a pair of gigantic wooden guardian statues were placed on either side of the entrance gate to uh, ward off evil and evil doers. Known as the Neo, or the Temple Guardians, or the Vajra Wielding Defenders, or the Thunderbolt Holders, or the Kongo Rikshi, these two statues were completed in the early 13th century by some of Japan's most lauded sculptures, inclu including Unkei, Kaikei, and Tankei. These extraordinary statues, about 10 meters each in height, about 70 tons each in weight, are now uh, designated uh, national treasures of Japan. Amazingly, it took only 69 days to complete their construction. Despite this breakneck speed, these two statues have, for centuries, served as the model or the prototype for subsequent neo statuary. In fact, the Neo statues now offered by Auctionata, uh, carbon dated to the 15th and 16th century, are styled or modeled after the two famous Neo statues here at Todaiji. Each of the deities is named after a, a particular cosmic sound. The open mouth deity called Agyo utters the tone Ah, meaning birth. Uh, the closed mouth deity named Ungyo utters the sound Ung, symbolizing death. This iconography, this uh, polarity, uh, represents alpha and omega, beginning and end, uh, birth and death, uh, male and female, overt and latent, and all such polarities. The Holy Sanskrit word aham and the Holy Sanskrit word om also embody this polarity. Uh, the first sound in the Japanese syllabary is ah, and the very last sound in the Japanese syllabary is un. Intense dynamism and realism permeate these guardians. The muscles and the tendons are swollen with tension. The skirts and the scarves appear to be blown by a violent wind. The free hands appear to be warding off, uh, fending off adversaries. The fierce scowls and contorted faces uh, embody the energy and power to overcome the enemies of Buddhism. One of the deities stands on its right leg, the other has uh, supports its weight on its left leg. Agyo with its mouth open and its hand raised represents overt power. Ungyo with arms lowered but tensed represents latent power. These two statues represent the paradigm of uh, dynamic motion. When viewed from a distance, the statues do look heavy set and stocky, but when viewed close up, the two statues are overwhelmingly ferocious, proportional, and realistic. These attributes are all shared by the Neo statues being offered at Auctionata. The Neo statues 
of this very early date, the Muromachi period, are very rare on the world art market. Uh, the Neo Guardians are a long standing uh, icon of Japanese Buddhism. The potential new owner is buying a culturally and historically significant symbol of Japan's religious traditions, a symbol that is cherished both inside and outside Japan.